Welcome to Vacuum Saved, the vlog by Performance Reviews. Let's get started. We're at my wife's friend's house who said that their central vacuum wasn't working and looks like we found the culprit. It was just a broken belt. I didn't have just a belt, so I brought, of course, not knowing what it was, I just brought a whole nozzle over to cannibalize. Usually I would order the belt or have them in stock, but since I didn't, I just want to show what that looked like. Now I've gone through and cleaned most of the unit here. They have a few marks on here. This was all, of course, packed with stuff. And they have a beam uh, nozzle. So we'll put this back together real quick in the field here. <laughs> um, you know, not at home, not on a, a workbench, kind of unprofessionally here. You know, well, I guess professionally. Um, but putting this stuff back together. Um, you know, everything else on this nozzle seems good. You know, and that's one of the reasons why I chose it for my home uh, is just the ease of maintenance on this. I say ease of maintenance, I'm having a hard time putting that back in. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, I really like it. So I brought everything with me to uh, film it, including some TriStar, uh, sorry, some TriFlow. Put that in there, that'll keep it from squeaking in the future. Um, yeah, the, the wheels are kind of dirty, actually. We're going to wash those off for them. They are caked with Kirby cake. And there's a utility sink right here next to it, so, you know. That has been super nice, just having a sink. You know, and I brought a couple rags with me, and we'll get this sorted out real quick. Uh, and as always, you know, the, the thing that has to be done is it just needs to be cleaned. Um, so I put a little bit of lubricant on that already, and we're going to do the same thing here. This just keeps it from squeaking. It's not actually really doing much more than that. Um, yeah, so it was kind of nice also having an EBK 360, you know, in the field. You know, these are so straightforward. Um, all right, there we go. You know, in terms of servicing, like I said, I just, I really like these. Um, I, I washed this off real quick, you know, it's not the cleanest, but it'll get the job done. Get them going for another 10,000 miles here, whatever the vacuum equivalent is. So when you put one of these back together, if you haven't ever done it, you get you got to have it elevated, otherwise it doesn't work right. All right, and of course the not having great light here is a struggle, but we'll get we'll work through it here in a second. Give me a All right, there. there we go, that's clear. And all that is on there. All right, so making sure this is good. And I think we're all good and out of the way here. I gotta just that's good, yeah. All right, and then when I put one of these back together, I like to do it by hand. Uh, I find that the screws, not so much these ones, but I like doing this by hand. It's rare that these belts break. Alright. Alright, we're gonna put this all 
back together. We are just going to put a little drop of oil on the wheel, because nobody ever did that. All right, that should be good. Now, they also had company over why I was doing this, hence all the noise in the background, so I'm not going to show me actually testing it, but trust me, it worked just fine. And I got the belt in from Amazon, where I am putting the debris into their central vacuum. As far as a power unit goes, they had a Honeywell... H803, which was a dump unit, I cleaned it out with Henry, which brought the working vacuum gauge from 60 up to about 80, which was quite amazing. So if you have a dump unit, make sure you empty it. Next, I got bags for the Volwerk. Um, I know it's been since May, but I tried to get HEPA bags, and the HEPA bags really just don't exist, so I finally just ordered some double air paper ones. So I'm excited to get this thing back together. All right, here's the transformer box, which got really, really hot. So I need to just check it before I put it to use again, or even leave them plugged in. It's so hot during the convention from Mike's Central Vacuums, which I thought we were going to run for like two minutes. We ran them for like maybe 20 minutes each. So the box got used the most it's ever gotten. And being from overseas, I'm just a little skeptical that it's in one piece. Pretty sturdy. All right. So here's what the inside of this thing looks like. All right, I don't see any burning. Actually, you know, all the epoxy is still on it. I think, even though that this thing got so hot, um, that's a heavy duty circuit breaker in there. You know, everything looks good. I'm, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I feel like the outside of this case should be grounded? Question mark. And that these are just hot glued in and they're still in place. So, yeah, I'm gonna call that a win for the converter box. And finally, this Royal is going to leave my shop all cleaned up, ready to go. As you can see, it was only a $30 vacuum. Now we had kind of a mini meet between collectors. I finally got to fix this ET2 power nozzle up, which I really like how it glides. I tried it on my D4. Of course, my friend Reggie brought over this Oric Dutch Tech, which is really cool, with a EBK280 power head. Then this Mila. It's in really good condition, this 300 series Mila, and it had the swivel neck on the uh, STB224, which is really a weird feature. It's hard to show it on camera, but it, it swivels, uh, which most of them don't. And it was just a really clean example of this yellow machine. Now, of course, one of them brought a backpack over, so we had to take turns playing with the backpack. And uh, I wish I could have had this machine in red, white, and blue. Is okay, that freaking switch at? I'll do, I'll turn you on. Ooh. It's up. It's up. It's right there. <laughs> It's 
that's your shirt. I got pizza on it. Why I'm not personally a fan of backpacks, I thought you all would enjoy seeing that with the TK-286. So there are Back America bags available yeah, the for bearing, the sanitaire. Uh, so my friend wanted to keep help, it and use it as kind of a daily drive with a cool are, machine. The Very similar to that black one. Just go at it straight. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, that's what side feed suction does. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.